And we're going to go to Denmark next because flame has engulfed Copenhagen's old stock exchange, one of the Danish capital's oldest and most distinctive buildings. This footage you can see shows the spire of the building, which dates back to 1625 ablaze. And then, as you can see, it collapses. Everyone inside was able to leave. Some people rushing to rescue some of the historic paintings. This now is the scene live where you can see that that smoke is still billowing out from the building. Indeed, firefighters are still struggling to bring it under control. They say that the fact that it was made of metal, the fact that a lot of that is copper, is actually keeping the heat in. Now, Denmark's culture minister said 400 years of Danish cultural heritage had gone up in flames. The old stock exchange was being renovated and had been shrouded in scaffolding and a protective plastic. Now, it currently houses the Danish Chamber of Commerce, whose spokesman described the scenes as a terrible sight. So there you can see those live pictures. Uh, the whole of the area has been cordoned off. One witness said that he saw 70 metre flames amid all of that smoke. Well, let us take a moment now to show you what the old stock exchange building looked like before the fire. Now, this picture was taken five years ago and you can see there the twisted spire which was put up in the 17th century and which, as we've seen, has collapsed in that fire. The building, which is located in the city centre next to the Danish parliament, has stood on that site since the 1620s. Now, let's go live to Copenhagen and Adrian Murray, a journalist based in the city, joins us there live. Uh, Adrian, we can see the smoke right behind you billowing out of the building. What is the latest on the operation to try and bring that fire under control? Well, as you can see, the Borsum, the old stock exchange, it's still engulfed in flames. There's a lot of smoke rising from the top and uh, fire crews are still working around the clock trying to put the fire out. Uh, we just had a big waft of smoke blow this way, actually. It's a very windy day. That's probably not helping. And as you mentioned, it was actually undergoing renovations at the time. So it's been covered in plastic sheeting and also metal scaffolding, which has also made it a more difficult task for the firefighters. Now, we're right in the very centre of Copenhagen. We're literally within 100 metres of the Danish Parliament building. We're, we're just across the square. And um, so it really is an iconic building right in the heart of the city. Now, it usually houses the Danish Chamber of Commerce. We understand that all the people that were inside the building, they managed to evacuate. And you will have seen some of those pictures of people also carrying artworks with them, trying to rescue some of that cultural heritage. Now, um, there were no reports of injuries, according to the police, but the, the finance ministry, which is also just over there, just next door, that was also evacuated this morning. But there are at least a dozen fire engines here and the area is cordoned off. There are military and a police presence. It's really everyone continues to work round the clock to try and put that fire out. Do we have any idea yet how the fire started? That's not clear. There's no information. Obviously, they're still trying to... Uh, to put it out and it looks like the building will be absolutely gutted sadly now there were renovations taking place but the building wasn't empty there were still people working inside so it's not clear um, how that will have begun and you've mentioned this this is a really historic building isn't it in the center dating back to 1625 uh, absolutely i mean it's one of those sort of postcard images of copenhagen that spire with the the four dragons and their tails sort of wrapped around around the peak of it. Um, and we're right in the heart of Copenhagen. As I say, you know, this is the, the square. Parliament is literally uh, just a few metres in front of me. And um, it's one of those sort of iconic buildings. 400 years of heritage right now has been devastated by those flames. I think there's a lot of shock and disbelief because it's um, such a historic building. And as has already been said, you know, it's being compared now as... Copenhagen's Notre Dame. Yeah, I've seen a director of the Chamber of Commerce actually carrying out one of the paintings. Uh, we saw the public who were passing really tried to help get those priceless paintings out. 
That's right. I mean, there were people inside the building, so they've been trying to uh, remove what they could as they were told to to evacuate. And yeah, this is something that was built in the 1600s, 1625. King Christian the Fourth. This was really kind of you know, a peak of of Denmark's um, uh, history. It was when it was a major trading centre, um, and really. Denmark had a lot of power at that time and was a very important centre of commerce. And the firefighters and we've seen... Fire engines, yeah, you can hear the fire engines are starting again there. I was going to say, the firefighters still at the scene. I assume there may be concerns that this fire could spread to the other buildings in the area. Um, I mean, it, it is separated. It doesn't adjoin directly into other buildings. Um, and there's, there's a huge... There's a huge force of... A huge crew here. Um, there's at least... Three um, cranes that are from the fire trucks that I can see just from here. Um, there are continuous hoses with water still trying to fight the flames, but obviously that work continues, and it, it's going to be really some hours, I would imagine, before they manage to put it out. Yeah, and I assume the whole area. You, I can see the cordons there. The whole area cordoned off from the, from the public. Yes, exactly. I mean, this is the very centre of Copenhagen. I'm literally opposite parliament. We're, we're within 100 metres of the Danish parliament building here. Um, so the whole area is cordoned off. There's a lot of police on both sides of the parliament building, but a few small crowds here, obviously a lot of media, but people also just watching on in, in utter disbelief, really. Adrian Murray live in Copenhagen. Uh, thank you very much indeed for the latest on that fire in the centre of the city.